Hello everybody. This is just an update on my traffic light project. I got the roads done, or most of them on my layout. And uh, got some detailing done on them, some stripes. But uh, traffic lights are going on these intersections. Uh, a T intersection. So the main road the traffic will be stopped in both directions by a light and then this guy will be able to come out wherever he wants and there will be another light right here so there's three lights and then over here there will be another set of three lights um, one here one there and one for this road right there and Here's a bonus I just finished working on. This well, I didn't finish it, but I got most of it done. This junkyard, I got the fence, and I got the uh, tracks done. Crane moves back and forth on its own rail there, and the junk I have there is just out of an old <coughs> cordless drill. I guess it was all the gears that allowed it to go in two different speeds. I don't know how all that worked, but it looks good. It's got rust on it now. And then the building, I uh, got have one light inside it, and then a sodium light over the uh, door. Let's see. Go around here. There's another. Uh, light on the back door. It looks pretty good at night. It even reflects off the fence. <laughs> cool. Okay, let me set this up for the. Uh, I'll show you what the LEDs are doing over here. Okay, here's the. Uh, here's what I've got going on now. I've got. <coughs> The little traffic light heads I've made out of styrene and I've got the SMD LEDs wired up with this magnet wire and I got that because it's really thin and I got three different colors green, uh, you know, amber, yellow and red so that lets me figure out what wires are what anyway and it all worked uh, as designed except for one problem the LEDs I was originally using on the breadboard 1.6 millimeter LEDs the red and yellow ones had about the same forward voltage as the red and yellow ones of the SMD variety but the green SMDs instead of 1.8 volts these have a forward voltage of three volts well that screwed me all up because I'm taking advantage of running two LEDs in series so I can drive it off of one L, uh, digital pin and of course the three volt two three volt LEDs in series is six volts and since I only have five volts the LEDs were you know almost shut off they were barely glowing so I had to change the way I was doing those I, but it's really simple I just made a transistor driver for each of the uh, two pairs of green LEDs well this one's red, turned red right now but it's pretty simple it's just a 2N2222 2222 transistor with a 1K resistor on the base and I'm driving everything now with 12 volts uh, because that's the power supply I'm going to use on the layout well that's plenty of voltage so the, <coughs> the two uh, green LEDs in series have 6 volt drop and then I'm using a 4.7k resistor 
as a current limiting resistor now it's pretty high it gives me a current of uh, about 1.6 milliamps and you might think wow that's really low because they can take up to 20 milliamps current the, these LEDs but these uh, these damn green SMD LEDs are so bright see how bright it is even at 1.6 milliamps it's it's almost still too bright but at you know 10 or 20 milliamps it's just ridiculously bright so they must have <laughs> they really engineered look at that they really engineered them well whoever made them because they work good um, but as you can see this is one intersection this is one intersection and you can see if you follow it along this is the intersecting road so he gets a green light the two directions on the main road are stopped and then he he gets a yellow and a red and then the main road will be able to go here whoops that's okay I just messed up the wires a little bit there there they go it's just there we go it's just a bad connection on the breadboard that's okay but then they uh, get a, a yellow and a red and then it goes back keep cycling like that and the same for the other one the main road gets a green and then a yellow and a red and then the uh, intersecting road will be able to go so as far as it is now it's it's ready to go I, I could wire it up on the layout with these values and it'll work except I got a lot more work to do I have to paint these I have to figure out what kind of pole to put them on, put all the poles and drill holes in the layout, run all the wires and all that. I have to mount this Arduino under there and then solder the components I need on this Proto Shield. But, you know, that's the way it's going. So I'll post the video. If you have any comments or questions, let me know. Thanks a lot. Oh, and there's the, the sleeping cat that's always on that chair this time of day. <laughs>